Yo, how you doing? Just pulled into the driveway at my house. Uh, long commute, couple miles. Anyways, just thinking about this on my drive home. And I've actually done some other videos about it, but passion and people like to, uh, people write books about it, turning your passion into income, um, making money doing your passion, how to work with purpose and passion and I'd like to as you know challenge your perception on this but um, if we don't have the luxury or don't want to or just feel like we really can't work that passion that's okay um, I'd like all people to be passionate about what they do that's for sure but if it's difficult to work your passion there is nothing wrong than doing something else that will pay for your passion. Doing something that can pay for your passion. So I know plenty of athletes that, um, well, actually myself, I'll just use myself. I am no longer a professional bike racer. My passion is riding bikes, riding them to the best of my ability, going fast, jumping doubles. And so it's not in my cards to race and ride professionally uh, and get paid to do that. I could make money doing it, but getting paid to do that. But I have designed a lifestyle that can afford <laughs> that passion. Uh, and I've actually combined two passions, which is speaking and teaching uh, and coaching. Uh, so one passion pays for the other. However, um, whether you are delivering goods and services, whether you are working for the man, whether you might be in a cubicle or not, let's just say that there is nothing wrong with doing something that pays for your passion if it is not, in fact, your passion. Now, leading up to the secret of high achievement, the secret of high achievement is, and it's a very psychological term, it's called distress tolerance. What does that mean? distress tolerance. That means being able to deal with yourself not feeling good about things. Dealing able, being able to deal with yourself um, being frustrated, angry, mad, sad, uh, not getting your way. And from what I've noticed, and I work with a lot of high achievers, I work with a lot of people with high goals, huge targets, they, the ones who seem to do the best at reaching, meeting, exceeding, crushing their goals, meeting their targets, they have a high tolerance for being distressed. So developing that distress tolerance, developing that ability to deal with not only ad the adversity, but the feelings inside that frustrate you based on that adversity, dealing with that and doing something about it not just making yourself feel better, but doing something about it so that your results don't lead to more distress. That's the high achiever. With that said, please share this. Connect with me. Private message me. I'd love to work with you, speak to you. Uh, definitely bring this stuff to your team, community, or organization. I have a lot of tricks that I've developed in my trade based on my professional racing background as well as my psychological training and uh, oh yeah I forgot sometimes uh, the MBA comes quite handy as well drjasonrichardson.com that's drjasonrichardson.com or on Twitter at real Dr. J. Rich. anyways you take care I'm about to get in there help some kids with some homework eat some dinner and then work on as you know the third shift, my dreams, my passions, all of the above. It keeps going, and it's great. I'd like to help you get there. Peace.